and uh, we have money for anything else? Nope. So it is time. It is time to demand the return of uh, Balakisia from the Scordisii. Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle purpose. So welcome to Oga's theater of the mind. Imagine this, a bustling Celtic city near a forest, when suddenly a huge Dacian army starts appearing through the forest. At its front, a 16-year-old boy, with a bushy beard apparently, walking with a cane despite clearly not needing it. Then the gates of Zigundum opens and a small band of cavalry trots outside, dressed in fine wool, clearly the important man of the city. The Scordisi noble is the first to speak. Greetings, neighbors! We are exalted that you have finally answered our call to arms and came to aid us in our wars. Giggles and chuckles can be heard through uh, the Dacian lines. The Dacian arbiter speaks. We came for justice! For years you have harbored a most vile outlaw, a man by the name of Balakisia. He and all who aided him must answer for their crimes. Uh, admittedly, a fairly small portion of the Dacian army cheers. Some of the men, uh, even probably amongst Denzibalos' elite, uh, used to be loyal subjects of uh, Balakisia back when he used to rule Pelendava. Uh, they are likely uh, really iffy about this whole uh, situation. Then the Scordisia noble yells back. Then justice you shall have! In one day I will personally deliver you this Balakisia's head. And, and he raises his hand to the air, 400 heads of cattle in compensation for the misunderstanding. A ooh sound can be heard from the Dacian lines in response. The arbiter looks back to King Dotos. And uh, King Dotos is uh, slightly baffled. He looks at uh, Costico, who seems totally unfazed. Uh, fight or no fight, he gets paid, so he really doesn't care. Outright laughter can be heard from the mercenary archers, Deepax and his merry men, probably relieved that they don't have to be sent to the front lines to burn down the city gates. And uh, after a few awkward moments, Suddenly, Queen Doina, former slave, former wife to King Balakisia and the Scordisia herself, rides forward. What about my claims? Let's do a woman's voice. What about... No, I'm not doing a woman's voice. What about my claims? I am queen and these are my lands. All on it belongs to me by right of being queen of the Scordisia. Now the noble, visibly angered, we have a king and a queen, you may be Scordisii, but you are no queen of mine. Doina turns to Dotos, speaking loudly so all can hear. Husband, you treat me so well and shower me with gifts. I would like another one. This man's heart. <laughs> King Dotos grins from ear to ear. Man, you heard our queen. The Dacians roar! And the noble Kells ride back into the city. There will be war.